Josh, this is the first bass on a chatterbait. I told you, you had the best shot of catch one. First fish <laughs> in 13 years. 13 Dude, years, Josh broke hasn't the caught a fish, and there it is. The streak <laughs> is over. Mission accomplished. We're about Here, to catch some more, because I just, I just got annihilated. <laughs> Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Well, now it is. Now you have to go I don't know where we was going, you know what I mean? I was, it's still... I was hoping you were the cash cab. No, no luck. So I just got here to Boston with a few of my absolute best friends in the world. Know these guys from college, one of them from high school, Josh Fuller, Luke Shaw, and Phil Craig. We're gonna explore the city, check out the history, the food, and the people of this legendary town. So we're walking the Freedom Trail, which kind of runs you through all the historical landmarks here in Boston. Narrow lanes. <laughs> Poorly executed. <laughs> we'll get the next one, Bobby. <laughs> so Luke just threw it impossibly far into the woods. Give him this guy a mulligan. Let's see what you got. Last right. hole. Trick shot. Not I bad. I, I know. I was like, dude, that's <laughs> the trick. Do perfect. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice way to end the day. <laughs> <laughs> we have this beautiful meal of snakehead and grilled vegetables planned. There's the snakehead. And there are the vegetables. Turn around for five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need an adult. And then the cup of chowder was. Right here. Yeah, there you go. That's some good chowder. That's We're splitting good. them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That's what's up. Mm, mm, mm. Fresh oyster, Duxbury oysters, right here at Snug Harbor Fish House. Off the charts. If you like oysters, you like seafood, you gotta come out here. You gotta come out here. Look, I like got the accent. It's, I'm not even trying anymore. Most people that don't like oysters have never had oysters like that. Yeah. Mmm, tastes like the ocean. Sucking a whale part. Seafood here in Mass on the coast. You can't beat it. I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh. I ate way too much. Full of good food and regret. Overfueling. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. An outsider would assume we were training for a marathon. <laughs> Good though. So here's where the Boston Tea Party took place back in 1773, which helped spark the American Revolution. Now we're checking out the USS Constitution. This was launched in 1797, and it's the world's oldest commissioned naval vessel still afloat today. That's in the world. Is there like a certain place I would go for that or just? Obviously, we gotta hit a Sox game while we're here. This is my first time at Fenway Park. Plymouth Rock. The Mayflower landed, right? Where Mayflower. the pilgrims used to be. Kind of a uh, lackluster. Like, yep. I was really Pretty expecting. Rock. I was expecting more. Like they built this fancy. I've seen cooler rocks. Man. Okay, right here. So, what's the, what's the, what's the symbology here? What's the symbology? <laughs> Birth of our nation. Where are we going? We're just basically going to. Wandering aimlessly? No, we have a purpose. We're going through the Boston Garden. Ooh. Which is really pretty, and then we're going through the Boston Common, then we'll end at Park Street. <laughs> wow, it looks way dumber than I thought it was going to. <laughs> See what happens in Boston. The ground jumped out of, came out of nowhere. <laughs> out of nowhere. 
smash my phone. It was a wicked pisser. <laughs> it was a wicked pisser. I don't know what that means. I just got annihilated on the topwater frog right next to me and Luke, <laughs> and, and the fish got away. Nice, dude. Josh yeah. with the first catch of the night. Nice. We're fishing out here at the pond at Normandy Farms Campground. Josh is with the first bass on a chatterbait. I told you, you had the best shot at catching one. First <laughs> fish in 13 years. 13 dude, years, Josh hasn't caught a fish, and there it is. The streak is over. Mission accomplished. We're about hey, to catch some more, because I just, I just got annihilated. Picture? <laughs> Wasn't meant to be. Luke Shao got it on the uh, torpedo, bro. Nice top water. They're chewing, man. Yep. It's that full moon. Full right moon. here on the got full moon. Bunker. Not it's on Mars. accident. It's Mars. Yeah, we can see Mars. That's a Mars fish right there. Oh, oh wow. Nice. Oh. Feisty. Yeah, yeah, I thought I it was going to be a lot bigger when it hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Let this girl go, maybe without throwing her on the dirt first. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Josh, you want to take notes? Politely this time. Here, Josh, check it out. <laughs> nice, nice. I've had uh, two more blow-ups on mine, and yeah. I just can't get them hooked. Nice, Luke Shao. Fish number what? Two. Two. Two that we've brought in. On top water, <laughs> on the little torpedo. They're hitting top water, they're hitting the chatterbait. Nice. Rob can't catch a damn thing. Nope. Good work, bro. You guys are slaying them. Y'all got yeah. any tips for this beginner? Here. Do less. Do less. Oh, thanks, guys. I'm literally not thinking oh. about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Josh with the fish number two. Guy hadn't caught a fish in like 13 years. <laughs> Wrecking them right now, bro. Oh, oh. fish at me now. <laughs> slaying fish. Did they all make their way back. Oh, oh look. Almost, good? man. Is he good? Almost. No, he's not good. He has to go in the water. <laughs> Rob with the monster. Oh no! No! He was like right, right there. there! Oh boy. That's why they call it fishing and yeah. then they catch and I hate that saying. Oh, that was a big one, yeah. Felt pretty good, yeah, yeah. What are you going to do? Alright, so now Luke and I are heading to Cape Cod where I'll be parking the rig with Jim and Amy Costa, who I met on the website Boondockers Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Cheers. Great to meet you. Yes. Thank you guys so much for the hospitality here. Yes. Let's take it right. Go down into Kentucky. She goes. Oh my God. You know it's in Kentucky. It's what? The horses. I says no. No. You know it's in Kentucky. <laughs> the best <laughs> bourbon. Bourbon. Yeah. Forget the horses. <laughs> I basically just decided like I'm just gonna do what I love and I'm gonna be eating ramen noodles for the next 20 years and it's fine. Like I don't. I'm not even mad. Yeah. Like I, I accept mad. that. <laughs> That's what I was, but that, that was my mindset. It was like, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to, I love doing it. I'm going to work real hard. I'm, I'll scrape by for the next 20 years. And it's funny how like, as soon as I quit worrying about the money, about a year into it, like money just started kind of, it just kind of started happening. Like coming to me, companies are coming to me saying like, Hey, we want to pay you. And it's crazy how I just said like, forget the money. And the money just worked stuff out. And now I'm making yeah. more than I ever have. Had, Which I'm not getting rich, but we had you know. a couple here. Are you sure there's nothing I can do? Swordfish and mm. yeah. Spoiling us. I thank you so much. We have some nice connections at the fish market. We really do. This is Luke's second time having swordfish. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He just had it for the first time the other day and he wasn't that impressed. And it was cooked okay. by a uh, cooked by a restaurant that uh you know. Well, I hope I can do it. This is the real stuff. I'm done. I'm on my way out. Yeah. I'm going to give up. Yeah. The last time I go to see her, I'm walking out the door and I look over my shoulder and on the wall is a picture of her. I'm holding a bicycle with her numbers. You know, she all bicycle out. Yeah, I've been my number and right. flowers. She's like, I says, you cycle? She goes, yeah, you cycle? I you go, said yeah, you ride. yeah, I cycle. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, I cycle. I said, I do between... 35 and 45 miles every night. So he shows up with this bike that weighs more than I do, a helmet that looks like a styrofoam cooler, and he's got his <laughs> he's got his work boots and he took them off and put on his sneakers, but his, his um, tools in his pockets were like so heavy they were hanging below the bottom of his shorts. So I'm like, okay. I just been off work. <laughs> so off we go. Off we go. And he, we rode, I had my computer, we rode 38.5 miles that night. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And, I was dripping sweat off the end of my nose, and he's dry. 
<laughs> I'm like looking at his cast going, wow. Wow. Yeah. My tool pouch is this big, you know? Mm -hmm. Air cartridges and stuff, CO2 cartridges. Mm -hmm. This tool pouch is this big. That tool pouch is a bank of batteries. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A little, oh, he told me the first try and my finger's sore. <laughs> he told me his finger was sore. Uh, She's like, this guy's not even trying. He's, why is he keeping up with me? He had to nice. remember to pedal down low. Oh, man. That's slick. Jim. Slick. Yep. She said, yeah, let's ride. Let's ride, you know, Saturday or whenever it was. I had 72 hours to come up with an idea on how to figure out how to do it. Oh, Because I knew, I knew I was not going to be able to keep up with it. I would be a, I would be a dead fish, you know. There's no way I'm not going to be able to keep up with it. That is too far. That's awesome. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed some of the sights and sounds and highlights of our time in Boston. Uh, those are a couple of my absolute best friends in the world. And while they're not really anglers, they definitely outfished me this time. But next episode, back to a real fishing episode. I'm heading out at a Cape Cod on the Columbia Sport Fishing Charter Boat with Captain Mark Casa. This guy is a legend. The boat is extremely historic. It's gonna be a really cool episode, so stay tuned, and I will catch you guys on the water. <laughs>